All right, we're doing it. I'm back. I uh, finished helping my dad with the work he wanted done uh, on his uh, on his garden, and uh, we're gonna stream for probably two hours. Um, I was actually thinking that they were gonna invite me out to dinner, so I wasn't even sure I was gonna stream. And then, uh, sure enough, um, no one ever texted me. So, I guess we're on our own. I'm also really slow. Uh, what are we at for madness? 629, wow. Uh, not quite enough to research anything interesting, at least. Uh, I think our next one, yeah, do I have any other ways of generating madness right now? I think what I really want to do is farm um, cadavers, if, if that's kind of my, uh, my strategy. Um, we could do one of these. That might actually be kind of interesting. Um... I was just on the dark sulfur and I farmed some sulfuric dirt and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's actually what I want to do. I, I don't know what these mean, but um, we'll check them out. I've also never done a... Yeah, hey Chris. I've also never done a uh, threat level 6 um, space encounter, so we'll see what that's like. I'm low-key angry that, um, that my parents never texted me back because I was really hoping to get uh, <laughs> free dinner tonight. Hey, look at that. Easy game. Oh, wow. They are like, their uh, AI is like locking up. Well, our, uh, our mobility is pretty good. So in terms of dodging, we're, uh, we're pretty okay. There's just a lot of enemies here. And these ones are really annoying. Yeah, this laser is actually better than the Omega laser. I'm kind of amazed. Wow, those little uh, poison doodobblies do like 500 damage. What do I teach? I teach physics. All day, every day. I'm actually teaching six courses this coming year. Three regular physics and three... Uh, kind of a lower level physics, we call it descriptive physics. It's pretty much the same stuff, we just avoid a lot of the math. So kids that struggle with math uh, tend to take it. Because it's, it's more, uh, it's more it, their, their speed. I'll be going into my fourth year. Wow. 2,700 damage on those uh, splody things. Absolutely unreal. I hate these things. They like pop into smaller enemies. So it feels like you have to kill them like five times. Yeah. Well, I can understand why this is a uh, threat level six. There are just an absolute piss ton of enemies. Let's go around the outside. I don't want to deal with that. Okay, here we go. So what do we got? Nothing. 
There's nothing in here. There's one, uh, one chest. Wow. That's really kind of disappointment. Disappointing. Uh, I guess the the idea here is that it's like a, an abandoned mine or something. That's all there is. This one tiny little area. Talk about a disappointment. Jeez. When those things hit you, they do a lot of damage, too. Alright. We'll get all of them little droppies, and then we'll head on back. Hello, Flora. Welcome back to the both of you. Just did my first extreme uh, space encounter. Oh, and another one just popped up here. Another extreme. This one was pretty unimpressive. It was just a single room um, abandoned mine kind of thing with one chest. But I've never done any of these, so I'm just kind of... Uh, Poking my nose into into um, some of these randomly generated space encounters. Can't touch this. Get out of here. None of that malarkey. All right, and we'll get all their draps. Getting some health. No, no way. Oh, and now, uh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Get, get away. God, they do a lot of damage. Everything does a lot of damage. And I don't like it. Oh, okay, I see. So the game registers it as a liquid, but not a liquid type. Gotta dodge them all. You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. God, those hits do 300 damage. At least my laser beam does more. Oh, buckets. Why are there so many? God. I'm going to get my butt destroyed here. Dodge. Faded. All right. Good enough. Although that basically did nothing for me. And, uh, okay, here we go. Let's get this little boy. And then we got uh, we got some of this. Oh hey, this is uh, actually not protected. So we just mine it all up. Is there anything interesting? It doesn't look like it. What is this, like blast stone? Dire stone. I don't know if Dire Stone has a function. It's just treated as a value. So uh, that's that's literally it. Cool game. 
I really like it when there's nothing. Okay. Okay. Ooh, a scroll. Class reset scroll. I could reset my class with the class reset scroll. I didn't know if you knew that or not. But um, yeah, that's what you can do. Okay, we're we're out of here. I don't, I don't want to deal with that. So um, last night I had uh, had some viewers, some of my students actually, and I don't want to brag, but I did get uh, one one uh, one bit uh, given to me. Hey, Satan time again. Um, this will be the last one we do. After that, I would prefer to just do the the actual events because these don't seem particularly exciting. They're just like some asteroids, some enemies, and then there's a thing. Like a tiny little space with like one chest. And I just, I don't care about that. Oh, okay, cool. Can't even destroy that stone. Trash game. Uninstall. Oh, come on. Those green ones are the worst, too. They, like, try to encircle you in poison that does, like, 8 million damage per tick. That stone is solid core block. Yeah. It, it's whatever the kind is that you can't cut through. And that's trash. At least I don't need the meteorite. Alright, let's, uh... You're a bad thing. Hey, a text. What do you want to bet? It's from my parents saying, come eat dinner with us. Oh. Just my parents telling me that they were done with dinner. Thanks, guys. It's okay. I'm not human. I don't eat. I only do stuff to it once you get the Atom Smasher. Yeah, I've never gotten the Atom Smasher. Although, we've had that conversation. We talked about that last night a little bit. Maybe if that if that's something that a lot of people consider to be like the end of a playthrough, then um, maybe that will be kind of when I end my Let's Play. Because I do want to have kind of a finite end to the Let's Play. I don't want to just like peter out and then be like, well, I guess I'm done with that. What's this? Man, I thought it was going to be something like really cool. Darn it. Oh, it is protected. Interesting. Interesting. Is that I don't think this is something that actually matters though, right? This is just one of those things that gets plopped down to like build mystery. Like, what is this? What is this, like, altar to the tentacles? Alright, we outie. I have a list of four things now that I consider being the end of the game. Cool, it's still Satan time on the ship. That's cool. Let's check out the Cyber Sphere. See what's going on on the cyber sphere.
That's a lot of uh, metals. Here's a cybersphere too. Killing the ruin, beating Della Freda, getting the Atom Smasher, getting the Warp Regulator. Yeah, I've not done any of the last three, although I know that all of those are um, <clears throat> specific to uh, to Fracking Universe. Hmm. Whatever. Uh, none of that is particularly interesting to me. Let's find something that I can get excited about. I don't even know what would get... what would matter to me at this point. I'm probably supposed to be exploring stars, or uh, exploring planets for a lot longer than I do. I tend to give up on a planet after like 15 minutes. Red desert. Oh, red desert is just a, a desert. But the blocks are red. A lot of red deserts, though. A lot of red deserts. Super dense. This is new for me. I don't think I've ever been to... Uh, that's kind of a lot of fuel. I don't think I've ever been to a super dense planet. Uh, what's my next goal? Um, probably the atmospheric regulator, which I looked at. I think I can actually make it now. So we're going to do that pretty quick. I'm going to check out this super dense, though. It's probably a lot less exciting than I'm expecting, but I don't think I've ever I've ever seen uh, super dense. But upgraded manipulators. Yep, that's another one that's kind of like I should do that. Um, no, it's actually that one. So it's mountainous. Hey, Obi. There's a lot of a lot of stuff here, though. I mean, I don't think I've ever been to one, so uh, let's do it. Man, I really want to order food. I've been streaming so much the past couple of days that I, like, have not really been cooking. And, you know, normally I cook and I have leftovers, but I haven't cooked for, like... Four days now. Is this alien rock? Yeah, okay. And this is just regular old dirt. Yo, chest, get in here. Get in, loser. Oh, you know what? Um, I should probably start inter uh, interacting with the shell guard content. Uh, that's something that I have not done any of. So that seems like maybe maybe something that should uh, be on my short list of things to do. What is this? Patak? Yeah, we don't care about Patak. The gas centrifuge and the quantum extractor. I have both. I do have both now. You installed the Borderlands Shield mod. It's earlier game, you think? What? What's earlier game? If you mean um, the Shell Guard stuff, yeah, the Shell Guard stuff is early game. I mean, yeah, but I haven't done any of it, so I kind of want to do some of it because, like, I have the mod, <laughs> and and I've heard that it adds like basically its own storyline. And I'd really like to interact with it a, a little bit, because I haven't done any of it. Hey, penguins. Steal the chili from the penguins. Turret 
turrets are cool if we had terraria style base invasions. Yeah, I wish I wish the defensive options that Fracking Universe gives you mattered more. As it stands right now, I think it's relegated to like um either aesthetics. Uh arguably there are like some reasons to do some base defense, you know, if you're building on a super dangerous planet. Or, um, if you're purposely setting up, like, spawners. Like, I got a, I got a spawner the other day. I think I still have it in my inventory. I didn't know they existed. Um, but you can get this. I also love that it uses beer as fuel. That's such a nice touch. It makes no sense, but it's funny. I use beer as fuel. That's not true. You want to tell me something about the spawner? Is it spoily at all? Or game breaky? If it's just informative, I'm fine with it. Alright, we'll take the we'll take the bombs. My main base is on the first world I started, so turrets chase parrots. I haven't played Terraria in a long time. I'm waiting for... Uh, I played a lot of Terraria, like, 1.3. I haven't touched 1.4 at all, which I probably should. Uh, but I really want to experience 1.4 with, um, like, Thorium. I'll probably stay away from Calamity. It doesn't sound like my speed, but Thorium sounds really good. So if I could play Thorium on 1.4, I would totally do it. So I'm kind of waiting for that. And uh, that might actually be my next game that I do like a full Let's Play of. Kind of like how I'm doing um, Starbound Fracking Universe. I think doing a, a Terraria playthrough with like an overhaul mod would be really fun as a Let's Play. And let's be real, I'm not even really doing, like, a Let's Play, because there's no viewers. I'm just dumping videos onto YouTube. Oh, they're shooting at me! I was wondering what that noise was. Calamity and Thurium can be played in the same game, but I've heard that, um... In terms of the way that they handle progression... Um, Thorium integrates into vanilla content, and Calamity is basically like, LOL, vanilla content? What's that? Because everything in Calamity is just, like, infinitely stronger, infinitely better. Like, why would you ever use any of the vanilla stuff when you can use the Calamity stuff? But it adds, like, bosses and stuff. But I feel like if Thorium does that kind of stuff anyways, I would prefer something that's more balanced around vanilla content. Like, Fracking Universe, I think, does a really good job. Ooh, tier 8, that's not too bad. Fracking Universe does a really good job because I feel like it is balanced in terms of vanilla content, but it expands on vanilla content. So, like, you don't necessarily feel bad using some of the vanilla stuff, but later in the game, you know, the, ter the Fracking Universe stuff is just... It's just so much better. Largely because... Uh, they didn't add set bonuses to the vanilla armors. So the vanilla armors are pretty much useless. I have not played either. Yeah. I have not played Terraria with any mods ever. I've only played vanilla Terraria. But real talk, is it Terraria or Terraria? I had that conversation with a friend of mine uh, like a year ago. I kind of feel like it's Terraria, but I don't know if we actually have, like, confirmation. Uh, is this... Yeah, that's blood. Terraria. Terraria. Calamity is so much more. FU is well-balanced. I mean, I think, um, one thing that can be said is, you know... If you were to play 
the main game beside uh, beside Fracking Universe for the first time, you might actually have a hard time figuring out what's what's vanilla and what's Fracking Universe. Whereas, like, Calamity, even from screenshots, it's really easy to tell. Like, Calamity is really, really over the top from what I've seen. And, like, not that it's not cool, but it's just super over the top. If you've done Moon Lords for farming, Thorium isn't that much more. I've never beaten the Moon Lord. I've never done all the content in Terraria. Um, I did I did all of the content right after they added hard mode. Um, but then they I think I think Moon Lord was after that, but like I I uh, I beat hard mode and I don't even remember what the final boss was at that point, because that was years ago. I find it easy to point out all the mods that are not FU. That is true. If it's not FU, it's typically pretty easy to be like, dude, that's got to be from a mod. Although I will say uh, one thing I really like about Shellguard is that it does feel very vanilla in that um, the stuff is integrated all throughout the game, but it doesn't mess with anything in vanilla because, you know, all of it's like... All of its quests are on totally separate quest hubs, but you access that quest hub through vanilla content. I think that's a really, really good idea. I think if other mods did that, we would have, like, absolutely massive Starbound worlds. Because you would have all of these, you know, all of these quest hubs that would be basically integrated into the regular game, which I think would be super cool. Oh no, I'm out of energy, that's stupid. Alright, I'm over this planet. Where are we off to? This, uh... More extremes. Eh, we can do a pirate ship. I'm down with that. I'll kill pirates. A lot of mods just add power. Yeah. Like, I mean, I like I like the Borderland Shield mod, but it doesn't add anything to balance it. What I think they did in an earlier version of the Borderland Shield mod is ev every humanoid that spawned had a 25% chance to spawn with a Borderland Shield, um, but it wound up being really, really buggy. So that aspect was eliminated. And I felt like even just that, where, you know, if I have a 500 capacity shield and I could very easily encounter a group of enemies that had, you know, a shield or two shields um, between them, that would really, really go a long way to balancing the mod. But, yeah, it came down to um, just not working. Well, I'm gonna have to put uh, this stuff in the place. Also, let's put these in here now and go nom nom nom. Okay. And I'll hold these. That should be enough food to keep me occupied for a little while. The OP shields you have is because of the RPG thing interacting with shields. Yeah, enemies could have done more damage, but then I I don't think that would have played well with like anything else that modifies um, enemy damage. Whereas having them spawn with shields would play well with other stuff. 
But I suppose they could have just had it been like they spawn with a shield and that shield adds, you know, 300% damage or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, like, like I've said a million times before, if I could go back, I would not play with the Borderlands shield or RPG growth. And I would probably um, add a difficulty mod, even without those two, because the vanilla combat is terrible. And, like, FU goes a long way to making combat interesting, but it does not make combat difficult. You were tired of dying, so you added the shields. The shields... So, okay, here. Uh, I think I can still do this. No, I can't. The shields get very, very good. Like, this is not even the highest tier you can get. You can get tier 10 shields. Actually, I think you can get up to tier 50. Um, but Fracking Universe only goes up to tier 10. I think there's a difficulty mod that allows things to spawn up to tier 50. Um, so this Borderlands shield is tier 8. Gives me, basically, a 243 health over shield that starts respawning after 2.5 seconds. 450 max health. Then whenever I take elemental damage, I get a massive amount of resistance. And then it heals me. <laughs> it's tier 10 without RPG growth. Okay. I mean, I have RPG growth, and I haven't seen anything above tier 10. But yeah, um, early game, like I said, I really liked the Borderland shields. They did not feel super overpowered, because like you'd get a capacity of, like, 50, and you'd be like, wow, that's a really high capacity. Uh, but it would have, like, a recharge delay of, like, 7 seconds. You'd be like, well, that's a pretty big trade-off. Then, like, late game, you just get, like, a quick recharge shield, and even that has, like, hundreds. Hundreds of capacity. Can we open the door? Yeah. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that tore them apart. Ooh, boy. All right, we'll take those. And we'll take that. And what? There's nothing in there? That's bogus. If I were to make... Um, hey, that's new. Musculature. Never had that before. If I were to make a Starbound mod, I think one thing that I would want to do is make it where any container, randomly, very randomly, um, could be full. And it would usually be just like trash, uh, but I think it would be really cool to come across containers and be like, wow, this 64, 64 slot container has like, you know, stacks of five Urchius fuel. I would really like that. I really like mods that add loot, even if they are imbalanced. Like, I remember one of my favorite Skyrim playthroughs. Uh, there was this mod that basically makes any anything that looks like a container to be a container. And oh my god, you find so much loot. But like, it's awesome, because you find so much loot. I like that sometimes. All right, so that's the pirate ship. That was really underwhelming. Yeah, Delirium League. Oh, boy, that felt so good. I mean, it was imbalanced as hell. Um, and seeing, like, the one percenters, like, doing... I, I, don't, I don't know how, like, into the game you are, like, how far you push. Um, but, like... The, the top people in the league were delirium orbing their maps, and then they were um, fractured fossiling them. Which, to me, is like spending three exalts to copy a map just because of the, uh, the delirium layers. Oh my god. Yeah. And I love Empy. Empyrean is, he's a super cool guy. He goes real hard, though. Like, 
It's insane. Let's check out the asteroids. Container respawns contents. Uh, one could fully leg out the game by storage overflow. Oh, okay. So then I guess that makes sense. Yeah, MP is super chill. I think it's super funny that the meme is like the um, smoking blunt arrow quiver of the cloud is like his meme item. Uh, what do we have here? Nothing much. Yeah, we'll we'll skip it. Um, actually, I'm gonna. Uh, no. The meme tab. Yeah. I believe it. I don't watch him stream very much, but I do like throwing up his uh, YouTube videos. Not like vomiting his YouTube videos, but like throwing them up while I'm doing something else. Y you know what I meant. Um, what do we want to do? There's another super dense. That's a lot of moons. Man, I don't even know like what planet to go on. Like what to look for. Hey, there's a tabula rasa. Um, so, this would be a good time to, uh, go back to the base. Mathel sub for three years this month. Mathel is, like, actually my man crush. I'm not gonna lie. He's such a good player. I remember, uh, there was, I was, I was watching one of his, um, VODs. Uh, a guide on liquids. Certainly, I would totally be down um, with like co co-oping on a on a liquid guide. I think you know a lot more about the about the mechanics, um, but I'm perfectly fine like actually constructing a video and doing a, a like a video explanation of stuff. Um, the Mathel video I'm talking about, he was playing uh, Veil Cyclone. Like, he was playing a Cyclone build that had Veil Cyclone. And he Veil Cycloned, and he was going to die. And he realized that if he unequipped the item that had Veil Cyclone in it, it would cancel Veil Cyclone, because you can't cancel Veil Cyclone otherwise. So he opens his inventory, unequips his boots, re-equips his boots, and gets out before he dies. And I was like, oh my god, this guy is good. This guy's real good. Uh, so this is going. We should probably uh, dump some things. about about 2,000 at a time. And I really like that Mathel stays away from the meta. Like, he does his own thing. It is a lot of sifters. Uh, I added... I mean, I was like, well, if I've got a quantum reactor, why not just have enough sifters for the quantum reactor to power it? Right? Why not? You tell me. Other thing we're gonna do, real quick. We're gonna get rent. Give me rent, you ingrates. Wow, a tier one pistol and some rice seeds. 2100 pixels, okay. I mean, when I have 400,000, it's not quite as relevant, but you know, whatever, I appreciate them trying. Uh, and a Psi Protector. Hey, this one's at least green. What is that? How to face room? Oh, it must have fallen. Have three, have them hooked up to the same type of queue. Yeah, I don't think that's a bad idea. Um, I just, at least with like the the blast furnace or the arc smelter, um, you can say like specifically grab ores. Um, but blocks are blocks. Not all blocks are siftable. So I don't want to get into that issue. 
Okay, wow, that's really full. Um, what do I do? For starters, we do this. Uh, I'm going to dump the mash. I am not going to be doing a lot of uh, a lot of booze grinding. And the other thing Oh. Well, I don't love it, but we're going to just dump whatever will fit into here. And then we go, poo. okay, all right, okay, okay, I see you, I see you. And we eat the face skin. Perfect. All done with the brewing. Yeah, it, like, I finished up the quest line, and, like, I just... It's good for pixels, but I'm so late game. You know which ones are siftable, you just toss the ones that you... Okay, sure, you do a, another cute chest. I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha, you, that makes sense. I thought you were doing, like, something kind of like my system, where you've got the dump chest, and then the dump chest moves over to the cute chest. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of those stacked, but a lot of those didn't. That's really disappointing. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, vendor. Oh, no, that's fine. That's not your fault. I was just assuming. That's all. Stacks of 10 Corvex are really awesome. Stacks of 1 Corvex are really terrible. Alright, that's not a lot of pixels, but it frees up a lot of space. Yeah, that's a lot of space. Boom. Got him! Wait, what? Oh, this stuff just got picked up. Alright, we'll take that too. Just hit the auto sort, it will stack. Oh! So, like, a LMAO. I did not know that. Wow. I thought all it would do is rearrange the stacks that already existed, but that's good to know. That's very good to know. I'm surprised that I didn't know that, actually, if that was uh, how that. Uh, how that button actually functions. Let's get rid of the six. And what else can we get rid of? We'll get rid of uh, some of these low quantity things. Viola root. I don't know if that has a real function, but whatever. Um, yeah, dark malt and malt we don't need anymore. Um, there's a couple of things. Sure. It's cool. Uh, and then we'll uh, dump a bunch of 10 stacks of Corvex in here. Uh, and then can I can I stack stuff? Okay, so it stacked what it could. Let's see what stacks. I hit that auto thing all the time. Oh yeah, you can uh, you can change how you how you sort. So it goes block, cooking ingredients, crafting materials, bees, and then more crafting materials, and then poop, and then food. Well, that's pretty neat. Uh, and then uh, we'll we'll do another dump of the stuff that got stacked. Um, that won't go bad. I th think everything else is fine. And then, like, some of these I can take out again. Right, like, these don't go bad. And that doesn't go bad. And these don't go bad. 
these don't go bad in this. I mean, if it, if it's a huge stack, it it means it doesn't uh, doesn't go bad. Got a lot of stuff in here. I don't really. Maybe I will start dumping this into my um into somewhere else. Did you have Nether Touch jeans? I have one. I have one I know of. Uh, let's take some of these things to take all our crafting mats out of there. Oh, and also uh, the seeds. Yeah, we're gonna want to take all these seeds. What's this? Quell stem. Ooh, 80 coffee. That's pretty nice. We'll take our crafting nets too. Um, that's a lot of poop. That's a lot of poop. Let's get rid of the nines. We don't need the nines. We had six nines. Can I craft soul leaf? I will have to look. And then we'll go pow! Look at that. Look at that. So much space. So much room for activities. Um, we'll dump. Uh, I'm going to take these guys, and if we sort by type, no, it does not keep the flower seeds together. That's frustrating. I like keeping the flower seeds separate just because I know that flowers uh, fulfill a completely different functionality uh, from regular produce. Yeah, okay. Good enough. That is always something I rush as fast as possible. I'll check it out. Uh, this is fine. Plenty of space. We're good. I've got more rent for me. I know it's only been a minute. Okay. How are we doing here? Alright, we're almost done with that. We got for uh, for blocks. Not much. I'm gonna look up some of these. I know alien rock. Um, you can uh, blast furnace, but I don't know what you can do with alien soil. Extract algae. Okay. Well, that'll give us a little bit of algae. And magma rock, patak crystal. I think patak crystal just extracts crystal. Silicon. That's not uh, worth it. That's a waste of time for me. Um, and I'm going to see if Alien Rock is a waste of time, because I know that that also makes a lot of silicon. Liquid nitrogen, liquid protocyte. I mean, okay. I just, like, actually have way more than I need. Hey, yeah, I forgot, like... We're actually going to have some ores here. Um, so, alien rock, you can go in there. Your pixels in late game power comes from, by the way, the quantum extract will give more output. Yeah, I know that that is the case. Uh, it requires more power, so for stuff that's, like, not really relevant, I kind of ignore it which might be the incorrect call, but uh, brick stone is useless. Do I have cobblestone in here? Do not. Uh, dire stone, I think, does a thing. Uh, do I care about that? I mean, I have so much silicon. It's like actually disgusting. Bones. Bones. Carbon bone oil. Okay. Due to the quantum reactor, you will no never need to worry about power. Well, yeah, I would need to make another one if 
like if I was powering all of my devices at once, I think. I'm not really sure. At 40, 55, 85, 95. Okay, so I would still be good if I was using every every device at once. So I guess that's fair. Uh, Magmarot goes in, Obsidian goes in, Meteorite goes in. Uh, do I have panels in here? I have a single hull panel. That's interesting. And then I have um, garbage blocks that I don't know why I have. Whatever, I'll keep those. Actually, I'll get rid of the precursor panels, but the the slope panel I might do something with. Um, yeah, and that's something I should do is uh, do some uh, Xenolab extraction, because I should have a lot of seeds here. And so the plan is going to be to literally just take half of every stack. Oh boy, that's a lot of garb berries. I like the hex panels because it extracts into advanced plastic. Maybe that's why I held on to them. I just know that I have a lot of uh, like everything that stuff extracts into, for the most part. Whatever. I don't think micro bamboo matters at all, but we'll just do this. Cool! Satan time again. Who doesn't love Satan time every five minutes? Shift right click for split. Shift left click to move remaining amount. Oh, I see what you mean. So if I just go like this and then like that. Okay. That's clever. It's clever. Then we'll go like that. So where did we leave off here? I only have five Ambrum seeds. Uh, I don't know if you can uh, extract from the crystal seeds, but we'll have to check. God, this is painful. Gene extraction, yep. The precursor spawner will seem fully useless when used, but it has an interesting action with the warp regulator. I'll keep that in mind. Oh boy. A lot of need fine bulbs. It's a lot of mutavisc. Only have one tokenite. I guess we'll uh, skip that. One toxic top. Oh, we didn't get the Varen berries. Wait, did we? We did. Somehow? Wait, what? That's a lot of Varen berries, and we took all of the Uri seeds? Okay, whatever, my bad. Alright, I'm not going to worry about the flowers, because I think those uh, typically have less useful extractions. So let's uh, start with some lower quantities. 
Uh, does, oh, nope, not, no, not like that. Not like that. It's the Xenolab to get genes. Yep, that's the Xenolab. And uh, let's see if uh, if the crystals work. Why aren't you getting pulled? Why are you not getting pulled? Um, oh! I don't... wait. Oh, I must have accidentally when I was... Uh, I must have been clicking like a madman or something. Um, so, we want uh, the output to go there. Okay, now we should be fine. Okay, it does not do crystals. Cool. Great. Good. Uh, here are some lower quantities, so we don't need to worry about the crystals. Um, amber might have a lot of. And we'll, uh, we'll move some of these crystals down. Maybe more, I don't know. Okay, I think that's most of them. Let's go there. Oh, that's one. And let's go... That's ten. And we'll go back and dump those. I could make a queue. I could. Uh, you're going to make me do it, aren't you? The only thing I don't like about making queues is every single one requires an ITD. I'm like, I, I guess that's fine. Like, it's, it's just how it's going to be. Right? I'm always going to have to do that. Um, and I suppose what I could do, because I understand ITDs finally, is I can, like, make a queue, uh, and then, um, remove it later. Right, it needs a background panel, which is so dumb. Um, so what is it? Uh, I always forget input and output. So we want to output to there, and then output to there, uh, and we also want, I don't know if I can even use it from here. Nope. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's too high up. So we want to say input slots don't matter, output slots, we want to go one, two, three only. Um, and there, that's it, right? I should, I should be good. Yeah, it would appear as if that will work the way I want. Yep, all right. Uh, I'm going to turn the lights on real quick. It looks like it's starting to get kind of dark. That should help a little bit. You know, make my beautiful face show up a little bit better. I wonder if there's a way to, uh, 1 a.m. It's, uh, 7 at night here, so you are 6 hours ahead. Yeah, there's no 
convenient way to do it. I was thinking if I could have it pull um, smallest quantities first, that would be really useful. What is it smelting right now? Silver? Okay. How's this looking? Some jeans. Uh, now that these are all done sifting, we can uh, dump some more stuff in. Not that. Is this silt? Yeah. And we've got a tiny bit of moon rock. That's fine. I actually like using hull panels for my ship. I don't know why, that's just like my aesthetic. We'll dump some of this stuff in here. And then we'll look up Arcos and Sulfuric Stone. Uh, that's kind of irrelevant, but I guess we've got it, so why not use it? And so. Sulfuric stone, same thing, research and sulfur. 2 a.m. Man. You guys gotta go to bed. Don't you guys have like adult things that you have to do in the mornings? Um is there a reason this isn't smelting? Oh, we're down to singletons. Okay. Well, alien rock, you can go bye-bye. We don't care about you. I also wonder if Aetherstone has any function. No, it has nothing. Saturday, get together with a friend for breakfast. I like getting... I like getting breakfast. I haven't gone out for breakfast in a long time. Thanks, COVID. Lab still off limits. Yeah, I know... Uh, number of people who have basically been like unable to work even even the, if they wanted to this thing is still going on the gem glows well, I'm gonna wow those did not finish they ran out of power <laughs> I was gonna say there's like no way um, lick wid. Should be plenty. I want to finish your work on a molecule you've been working on. I think that makes sense. I think uh, work tends to be what makes a lot of people feel like what they do matters. I mean, God, that's one of the reasons I'm a teacher. Because it makes me feel like, hey, this is important. Um, speaking of important, what was I going to do? I was going to do something important on the ship. Oh, um, I was going to make the atmospheric regulator. Because I think I should be able to get all of this stuff now. Like, it's, it's high. I could do solely seeds, too. Um, tritanium, liquid deuterium. So let's figure out what I've got. I do not have enough Tritanium. I do not have enough Liquid Deuterium. Uh, Telebrium was another one. Got plenty of that. I don't remember the other stuff. This is why I make lists sometimes. Uh, liquid metallic hydrogen, 50 dense alloy. Wow. I do not have enough of that. Got plenty of liquid metallic hydrogen. Okay. So then we need... Um, we need deuterium. And I do have one liquid deuterium there. 
and then I don't remember off the top of my head, but it goes into um, probably the arc smelter is going to give me more. Is the arc smelter more efficient? I'm assuming it is because this is green and this is red. Yeah, arc smelter all the way. That's what I thought. But thank you for the confirmation. All right. How much did we get? We got nine. Uh, and how much did we need? I think we need 20. Yeah, so that sucks. So then we've got to figure out how to get more deuterium rods. Uh, as output. Um, water. Water in the gas centrifuge. Well, that's really easy. Even if it's rare, I can throw 3,000 in there and not even miss it. Okay, let's let that go. It's the reason why you want the arc smelter as the first thing out of the late game upgrades. Yeah, the arc smelter does seem very, very good. For sure. I guess I can uh, put the cobblestone in one of these that's done. Uh, and then we need tritanium and dense alloys, so let's figure out what I need for that. Age of Salt, Ferrosium, Veolium. Okay, and then tritanium is Chrysolite, Triangulium, Durasteel. Alright. Actually, I might be able to just be refined. Yep. And then we've got, what, chrysolite? Not with two eyes. Um, chrysolite, durasteel, and now I don't even remember the last one. Uh, I hate my life. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Well, I'm going to need to get more... Um, I'm going to need to get more lead anyways, so this will give me an opportunity. Trianglium! That's what it is. So I'll get tri tri Trianglium and some lead. That's a lot of triangulum. That's a lot of lead. Alright, how much can we make? 170? Um, let's not do 170. Let's do 60. Not gonna split vid. Oh, you're right. It's been an hour and nine minutes. I didn't even realize that. Um, yes, I am going to split the video. Um, but yeah, uh, that will be a good opportunity for me to just um, kind of grab something to munch on. And so um, I will. Uh, I think I'm just gonna let this go. But I will, uh, man, I don't have a lot of food on me. But I will be right back. You like that you made the manufacturing station? Yeah, I made it. <laughs> it I'm not doing a lot with it, but I have it. Uh, I actually made it because there was a, uh, yeah, see ya, Obi. Always good uh, hanging out. Um, I made it because there was a user in chat a while ago. Uh, who wanted um, to kind of, they wanted a tutorial on the, oh, it was you, okay. I was going to say, like, someone wanted a tutorial on the manufacturing station. I was like, I've never built one. Let's check it out. So we did that for a little while, and then I was like, hmm. I used it to make, like, 
400 silicon boards. And that was like kind of it. All right, but I'm gonna I'm gonna end the stream. I'm gonna grab something to eat. Won't be more than two minutes. I'll be right back. See you later.